You guys, a VIP kid is officially losing teachers. Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel for what is essentially another Wednesday one take series video. I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of video you wanted to see today in our March Madness series, which if you didn't know, we're doing a video every day for the month of March, so make sure you are subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know what you wanna see in the future down below in the comments. You guys wanted to talk VIP kid, and not just any topic about VIP kid, you wanted to know how they were doing in terms of bookings, teachers, just the stability of the company. So I wanted to just do kind of a quick story time and to share a little update that I received a few weeks ago. Now, in all honesty, this is a video I never thought I would make a year, not even a year ago, like eight months ago, I would have thought that VIP Kid was untouchable. There were a bunch of other ESL and online companies that were trying to keep up, but no one was going to catch them. And then through everything that happened over the last 12 months, whether it be the pandemic or changes to their structure, basically all the changes to their platform, as well as the uprising of other platforms and incentives and offers people were getting offered to them from other places they could teach. I do think it's safe to say, in my opinion, and we'll talk about other things that are factual later, in my opinion, I do think that they are losing a little bit of credibility in terms of where they were a year ago. Now, if you're new here to my channel, I did start teaching with VIP Kid in January of 2018. So it has been over three years. And I have to say in the last six months, I have gotten an unusually high number of requests for people wanting to know information, not about VIP Kid anymore, but about other places. They wanted to know where their time was best suited for them, where they make the most money in terms of time they could give, and overall where they could get bookings. So many people over the last, I want to say year and a half, would write to me or they'd put a video on YouTube about how they were signed up, they had all these slots open, what was wrong, why weren't they getting any bookings? And if you caught a video I made a few weeks ago, I put together a guide to help these teachers who were so frustrated just to show them eight other opportunities, eight other platforms they could work on just because they would sign up with VIP and they heard all these great things about them and then they would just have crickets. They would have no bookings at all. So I did a little bit of investigating and by investigating, I reached out to some of my friends on WeChat that have worked in the office as a VIP kid and I just asked, how are bookings going? How is hiring going? I've noticed you guys have been offering me and other teachers a lot of incentives to open slots while other teachers are opening all their slots and not getting any bookings. Like, can you give me any update? What's going on? If you're a current teacher, by the way, let me know if you have received any of these, like, you'll make $5 if you open three PPT slots in the next three days. And I'll be very transparent at the time of me making this video. I took a break from teaching with VIP Kid at Thanksgiving of 2020. I just needed a break. I was teaching five days a week, face-to-face -face brick and mortar, and I was trying to balance a lot of things on the side at a home business and teaching online with other platforms. So it just wasn't in my best interest, especially when it came to thinking of my time as my most valuable resource. I could be doing a lot more with my time at 4.30 a.m., like sleeping. But long story short, let me know if you guys had seen any of these incentives. I know most recently, VIP Kid has been trying to break into the U.S student base. I know they've tried to offer some reading programs and they're currently doing a program where you kind of copy the out school model and you bring your own self-created courses or you can self-create them and have other people teach them and you collect a portion. I do a video about that. I will link it up above in the cards and down below if you are interested. But after reaching out to my friend who I will keep nameless in this video, she told me that in terms of hiring, they are not having an issue with people trying to get onto the platform. She says their issue is retention. They are having a hard time retaining existing teachers. She said as far as she's seen, there's no issue in initial hiring, but they have seen a 28% reduction in the retention of getting existing teachers to re-sign contracts and stay with the platform. 
you guys, that is huge. That is almost a third. So essentially one in three existing teachers are not returning. And I know I've spoken to several VIP kid teachers. Some of them have said they never want to leave. They want to show their loyalty and that's fine. That's great. Others have said, I am out washing my hands of this. There have to be better options out there. But it just blew my mind. 28% of teachers are not re-signing their contract. And if you're watching this and you are one of those 28%, that's great. I am glad that you have looked at their places. You want to expand your career. You want to look and see what else could be out there. Let me know. Again, I feel like I'm referencing the comment section. It's just because I am so used to having lives when we talk about VIP kid. Let me know down below if you would like, if you are somebody who has stayed through thick and thin and you plan to stay, if you're somebody who has still stayed, but have reached other places, or have you just jumped ship, didn't re-sign that contract, and went other places? To be completely honest, I am concerned that there is a 28% reduction in retaining teachers while there are still new teachers who cannot get bookings on their schedule. Like, you would think if a third of those who were there have moved out, how many are they hiring in? I do know that they were doing a lot of referral incentives, getting people to sign up. And I'm wondering, did they panic when they were seeing this retention problem? Did they just hire as many as they could? I honestly don't know. I don't have any factual information on that, but it would make sense if there are all these new teachers who are not getting bookings, if they're sitting here in limbo waiting, and so many people left, they just have a big mass hiring spree to make up for all the teachers who left their platform. I honestly don't know. There have been so many changes on this platform. One other video I will reference here, and I did not change the title from when I made it in a very angry mood last summer, was a video I called The Downfall of VIP Kid, where they changed all of their payment structure, blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard me talk about this forever, and I'm tired of talking about it too, but if you missed it, please check it out. It shares how they changed the entire structure. It did help out some teachers, but it really screwed over others. But you guys, that is our topic today. VIP Kid is losing teachers, and it's not the kind of teachers you would think. You would think they'd have no problem retaining those loyal teachers who have been there from way back in the day when it was easy to fill your schedule. Those were the days, you guys. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Once again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think this is a good thing, a bad thing, a scary thing? Is VIP Kid in danger as time goes on, or are they going to branch out into the US market and really keep their status as a top-ranked ESL company? I don't know, time will tell, but you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and check us out tomorrow for another episode of March Madness. Bye.